So you'll still notice there are some problems right here. First of all, when I refresh the page, I'm actually not logging out. So Bilbo is still here, even though I just logged out right here. Let's just put in Bilbo again and do a send and you'll notice he's still there, even though I did a refresh, disconnecting and reconnecting. So that means right now I have invalid data in my data set right here. So what I'll try and do is actually I'll go back to my code and make sure that when I disconnect, I wanna also get rid of Bilbo. So we'll do a delete right here. And what I'll do is if we go to the lead client, you'll notice the way we do it right now is just we filter the local list of clients. Let's try and change that. So we'll start using the repository. We'll say client repository and there's actually a delete one. And you can do exactly the same thing like you're doing when you find, you can just do an ID of the type ID. That's the one we wanna delete. And it's also a promise right here. So let's just do an async and just await the reply. We'll make this into a promise like this. We'll add the void in there. There we go. And now we are pretty much done. This should be all we have to do. Let's just try and see if we can get rid of a client that we're creating. Let's just try and add a new guy right here. Let's call him Bilbo back boy. I'll add him. There we go. Let's refresh the page. And now let's put in the exact same name again. And luckily I can still get in there. And let's actually do it once more where we kind of add him like this send and then we go to the database now just to be sure he's actually there let's just refresh hopefully bilbo there he is he's right there i'll just do a refresh and do a disconnect i'll go back and refresh and he's gone so that works now and while we're in here let's just get rid of all of these guys because they will actually fail for us right now i'll just delete all the rows and i'll press db submit right there and there we go sweet we're not quite done yet because i also want it so that when i actually go in here with bilbo I go in here, it should actually show the list of clients. That's not there right now. So let's go back to our code and fix that one as well. So there's actually a method right here to get clients, but right now what it's returning is just all the actual chat clients right here. We're not satisfied with that. So what we'll do is we'll do the this.client repository and we'll do a find this time to get all the clients in the repository. Now, again, just like before, we need to make a new line right here. So I'll do a new one called clients like this. That's going to be the list of all our clients. And we're going to do an async again like this. And we're going to do an await here like this. Await. There we go. And we are also going to put in a promise around this like we did before to kind of start using the promises. So that's just basic stuff now. In the end, what we're going to return is a, a list of the clients and they need to be chat clients. So now I'm going to show you a pretty neat trick right here that works when you have very basic objects. In general, it should actually always work, but you might have some problems with it. So beware. What I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this guy into chat clients. And I'm going to do it using something pretty neat. First of all, I'm going to specify that this is going to be a list of chat clients. So it's a chat client array. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use the json.stringify. Now json.stringify will take this list of clients and convert them into a string. So it'll just be like a JSON string that you guys have seen many, many times before, just like curly brackets or uh, square brackets in our case, and put in each of these clients in curly brackets. Now, the cool thing is we can actually ask JSON to convert those back by passing it into an object again. Now, what's very cool with TypeScript right here is that it's actually going to go and convert it into chat clients now. And since our client entity has the same information like a chat client, that we have up here in the models, you'll notice that these two will actually map into these two right here, the ID and the nickname. So by doing this, converting it to a string and back to an object, we actually convert it into a list of real chat clients that we can then return. That's a pretty neat thing to do. Now it complains because of course we need to convert this since it's a promise now. So we need to go into our interface and make that get clients into a promise right there. And also we can do the same for this guy. We'll make this one into a promise as well, just to kind of wrap that up as well. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to copy it. There we go. So now we have these two available and they should actually be fixed now. Now, after fixing this, we're going to get an error in the gateway. Let's try and go to the gateway. Now, the problem is that, of course, we cannot add chat clients as a promise into this list of chat clients. So notice we're getting back a promise with chat clients. We can, of course, not put that into a basic list of chat clients. So we need to again do the wait. So we'll just do it right here. We'll do a const chat clients like this chat clients equals and then we'll do that get clients right here to kind of convert it by adding the await in front of it. There we go. Now we have our chat clients available and we just put that in here and we also need to put it in here. Now we're actually not in the front end right now using the welcome chat clients right here. We'll change that later, but at least we need to admit to everybody that a new chat client just arrived in the system. 
So let's just try and save this now. Now we also have issues down here at handle connection and handle disconnect because we're also sending back the list of clients right here. It doesn't complain, but that's because it doesn't matter. It'll just send back a promise right here, but that's not what we want to send back. We actually want to send back the list of clients. So we'll do something similar down here. We'll make it async. We'll add that promise right here. Now you should start to get this now. It should be very easy to see what's going on. What we'll do right here is just we'll do an await actually inside this code right here. And we'll just wait for that list of clients to show up. And let's do the same for the disconnect. So we have that in place as well. And by the way, yes, for those of you who feel this is duplicate code, you're right. And we could fix that in different ways. And we'll try and look at that later. Another thing, since this is an async now, I'll also wait the delete before we actually go to the next line. So I'm sure this client is deleted before I actually go and get him. So that should be it. Now I should get the list of clients. Let's just try and go and refresh the page and see if we actually have, yeah, Bilbo has disappeared. Let's try and go back and add the Bilbo again right here. That's Biblo. He's also fine. Let's add him. Now we have Biblo and Bilbo and it's actually updating like we expect. If I refresh the page again, Biblo should be gone again. There we go. Everything is working as expected, except for one thing that we'll handle in the next lesson. Spoiler alert. And the problem is actually, if I go and refresh the page right here, you'll notice that when I restart my server, I actually go and change the socket. So everybody's going to reconnect, meaning Bilbo 2 has just reconnected with a new socket ID. So if I refresh the page now, sad panda, I'm not going to actually delete Bilbo 2. He's going to stay there because the socket ID changed. Don't worry, we'll fix that in the next lesson, which will be amazing. So see you next time.